guys and welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're brand new so in this video I'm going to be going over how I the products that I like to use for lunch so like lunch essentials and for back to school and how I organize them in my kitchen so I'm gonna start with a lunch pail so we love to use the roots lunch pails now I don't know if these are available everywhere but they are uh, fairly decent size but not overly big they have separate compartments so you can put like napkins in here or forks uh, or whatever you need and they also have a side pocket for your water bottle they keep um, food cool if you put a freezer pack in it and they also um, uh, don't leak I haven't had a problem with them leaking if something spills so I do like using these and they come in different designs um, they come with sol solid color like this one or they come with the different patterns and I pick them up usually at Costco and they also have a strap but we don't use a strap um, for water bottles, my daughter likes to use the Swell water bottle which she got for Christmas because um, these are pretty expensive, but she really wanted one so we had picked up for picked it up for her for Christmas last year and this one keeps water cold forever. Like it is an awesome water bottle. If you can invest in a good water bottle, I would say this would be the one. Another great water bottle, I think that one's a bit better, but uh, is the Camelback, which is what my son likes to use. Um, and this one keeps water cold as well. And, um, but it is plastic, and now I know it's a, it's a good type of plastic, so it's not uh, gonna leak. But um, if you want a stainless steel, I suggest this one. So, but, and these, these are, I think about $35 so they're not cheap either but they definitely keep the drinks cold um, for as far as packing up lunches so we my kids like to take from soups to leftovers to salads to sandwiches so I have a variety of different containers for lunches so for sandwiches uh, we use the Rubbermaid um, sandwich containers and these were great now unfortunately if you have a bun it won't fit in here so I usually will just wrap the bun in a cellophane for them or a food wrap uh, for salads if it is side if it's a side salad or for ve veggies this year I want to try the glass ones my kids are old enough like 14 and 16 so I'm hoping that they're not gonna break them but uh, just kind of trying to replace some of my plastic containers with glass ones but we'll see how that works so but I had picked up the this one and for a salad as a main meal um, I have this one and these are very tight so and they close pretty tight so um, but I wanted a bigger one if the salad is a main meal for fruit if it's cut up um, these are also rubber made I think this one's yeah rubber made and they hold three quarters of a cup of of something so fruit like berries or whatever fruit you cut up and then I also have these small containers and uh, the, the lid is in a dishwasher and these are great for nuts if your kids can take nuts or or any any cheese or whatnot I like to use these and then another two containers that I alternate with for fruit as well is the these are all both by Tupperware and these are great containers as well they are easy to open and they close pretty tight so you don't have to worry about food spilling out of them if uh, we are taking a hot lunch if they're taking a hot lunch I love these the uh, thermoses they're by Stanley and sometimes my kids will complain that the soup is too hot to eat so that's how well it keeps things warm in here so um, love these and they are fairly big but like I said I have a 14 and a 16 year old so it's it's a perfect size for them 
For freezer packs, I use the Rubbermaid Blue Ice, and these are actually great because the sandwich uh, containers snap right on them. So if you just, um, it's it's a great space saver in your lunch pail. So these are pretty much the essentials. Another thing that I. Uh, I pack in their lunch bill is a hand sanitizer and I'll also um, stick uh, for give give them to pack a Kleenex a little Kleenex pack so that way they have it on hand if need be another thing that uh, I was thinking would be a great thing if your children are younger is to pack one of those traveling wet wipe packs, wet wipes pack, just a little traveling one. That way if they do have any sticky mess or anything, they can just use it to wipe it off. So let me show you how I organize things in my kitchen. So for the water bottles, I keep them in this um, cabinet, first cabinet. And we keep all our travel mugs, our uh, shake mugs, our cups, and all our water bottles in here there are a few missing because they're being washed but most of them are kept in here for my containers I keep them in my deep drawer and I try to keep them in a bin because it keeps things a little bit better organized um, I used to use those a while back now I just use them for daycare but um, they're great um, to divide the, the f different foods in there. They were great and they do fit into that roots lunch pail if you wish to use something like that. So I put all of my containers here, the stainless steel, uh, this is gold, fit perfectly in here. All of my lids are on this side and all of my containers are on this side. They're easily accessible to the kids, easily for the kids to put them away, and it just works really well for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. I hope it was inspirational for you to organize your lunch, lunch, school lunch essentials. And until next time, have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.